So Jeremy, you remember where you studied, right? Yes, I think I recall a bit of it. I think I studied in a hostel in a Mr. Tea Garden, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Jeremy, you remember it correctly. You studied at the Assam Valley School in the Harchura Tea Estate. It is part of the Williamson Mega Educational Trust, and we are going to visit it now. Here, these are your cards. And you can head that way. Yes. Thank okay. you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Bye. Hi, I'm Gayatri, and I'll be showing you around the school today. We've visited the school several times before. Oh, have you? Oh yes. Our son Jeremy has studied in the school from class three to class twelve. Oh, that's amazing because it's an incredible experience, and I myself joined a few years ago, and it's come. I'll show you guys around. So Jeremy, right? Um, when did you study at ABS? I think it was during Mr. Carling and Mr. Fox's time when they were the headmasters. Uh, wait, isn't this where they stay? Yeah, so that's correct. Uh, so first we had Mr. Carling, and after that we had Mr. Fox, and after that we had uh, Mr. Mountford, who was here with us for ten years, and now we have Ma'am Sonia Gandhi Mehta, who's been with us since 2013. But the bungalow looks the same. Yes, it hasn't changed at all. Come, let's go ahead. Wait, is Sunnyside? What Sunnyside? Sunnyside is actually a facility for off-campus students and uh, staff children. Uh, only till class four, after which they move to the senior school. Hey, wait! Isn't that where the guinea pig stayed? It used to be a guinea pig shed, but now it's been converted into the fresco bowl. Fresco Polo? What's that? Um, it's the new cafeteria. Oh, okay. So now I'll be showing you guys the new squash court and swimming pool. Um, Jeremy, you must be remembering. Oh, yeah, the swimming pool. How could I forget? I almost drowned here in class eight. So adjacent to the swimming pool, we have the new squash courts, which were inaugurated by Mr. Khelan in 2016. Oh God! Well, the sports complex is as noisy as when I used to be here. Well, yes, except that we don't call it the sports complex anymore because it's divided into the gym, the music school, and the dance rooms. And above, on the first floor, we have the badminton courts and the table tennis courts. Hey, wait! Isn't that where the volleyball courts used to be? Well, yes, Jenny, you're not wrong. But during the 2014 prom years, the new central dining halls for the boys. And for the girls, which is the first thing we have to understand. What are you doing? Nine on patrol. Jeremy, I'm surprised you remember that. How could I forget? I spent most of my free time here, actually. What were you doing? Reading. I mean, reading, reading, reading. Of course, <laughs> reading. Oh. Yeah. So, sir, ma'am, on my left there is the new basketball court, which was inaugurated in 2016, which produces many new basketball players who represent ABS in many inter-school events and make us proud. Oof, I'm tired already. But wait, Gayatri, you haven't showed me my old house. Well, Jeremy, which house are you in? I think it was called Manas, if I recall. Manas. Well, there have been some new structural changes, according to which. The Manas Building now houses the Lohit Juniors and the Manas Juniors, while the Lohit Building now houses the Lohit Seniors and the Manas Seniors. Likewise, in Hansri and Nanda, but now Nanda, which was Boroli in your time, now houses the Juniors, but the Hansri Building houses the Seniors. So, how is Avias doing? Well, so Avias is doing great, considering it's 
best infrastructural facilities in the country and also the technological equipments and facilities it provides to its students. It aids their all-round growth and no child's interests are ever undervalued at EVS. Well, on the left... It's the school infirmary. Yes. How could I forget? I spent a month there. Well, when I twisted my ankle while playing soccer. Not much has changed except that we have a now better equipped ambulance in case of emergencies. Gayatri, what's that? Well ma'am, that's the foundation stone laid down by Mrs. Julia Hager in 1990. Well, on the 11th of February, all the students gather here to pay their respects to the men and women who helped this institution reach its greatest heights. Let's sit near the foundation stone and I'll tell you more about it. education to all children from all walks of life throughout India. It has always focused on learning rather than teaching and has laid emphasis on making education an adventure. The Mega Educational Trust appointed Mr. G. Ramchal as its educational consultant who was a former headmaster of the Gold School and since then ABS has always been since the inauguration of the school on the 1st of April of 1995, I have mentioned most of the major changes taking place. But if I have forgotten something, that must be the change in venues of the assemblies. Originally, the assemblies used to take place in the conference hall and they later on shifted to the central courtyard. But now we have the Grand Williamson Mega Hall for these Initially, the food was delivered to the boarding houses by the means of a tractor. But now, we have a well-equipped food van which delivers the food to the central dining halls. Wait a minute. It's all coming back to me. The lush greens, the wind in the air, the walks down the LOC, the MSB, Ave. How could I forget all that? Wait a minute. Why are we here, Dad? My son. You had an accident. It injured your brain and you had lost your memories. And the nurse said the only way you could regain your memories was to bring you to a place which was closest to your heart. I think I was right in thinking that Avius was the place which was the closest to your heart. Yes, you're right, Dad, in bringing me back to this place. But Avius isn't just a place. It's a feeling. A feeling that'll never leave the hearts of the people that are ever associated with this great institution. Avius, how I miss this place. Jeremy, I'm glad we could be of some help in getting your memories back. Come, I'll escort you to your car. Yeah. Bye sir, bye ma'am. Have a safe trip back home.